here's a level 4 setup. Hmm, can you figure out what this one's going to involve? Oh, no, not that thing. Well, that's what level 4 involves. And yes, you can start a color chain with this. There's actually two ways to doing it. However, my, e my preferred method... Well, let's see here. First, I need to get rid of unwanted enemies, or even move it if I have to. Move that pyramid. Okay, and it's already on the right one. That one's not even on anything. Let's see, that one's blue, so I need this on blue. Of course, it really doesn't matter too much. That's just a regular carry key, so I ain't gonna bother taking it. Okay, well, let's see here. What's on X? Ah, oh, must be the one over here. There's the yellow. Not particularly useful having an X on yellow. However, there are two ways to busting a pyramid, particularly this. And yes, you can actually use the invincibility to start a chain. How? Well, I'll introduce you to the third and fourth ways to busting a pyramid. Now, you probably remember invincibility or invincibility. You attack it, nothing happens, right? Well, what if you throw the enemy, the pyramid, at the enemy and try to get them to catch it? That works, and it busts invincibility real well. There's more, there's another method though, however. What's that method? Easy. Lift the enemy and throw it onto where the pyramid is. Either method works. Those are the two other methods besides just raw HP damage. But I tend to find it more, a lot funnier just giving the pyramid to the enemy. And well, that's what I'm gonna do. I have a pyramid. See, I just busted an invincibility, right? Or invincibility. And there you have it. That's how you do level four. Hmm, now what else do you think might be in store for level five? Yeah, five. I think that's probably the end of... Well, there's still actually more than more than I'm thinking of anyway. <clears throat> I wonder what was in the bonus. Eh, forgot to check. I know there was a rare, but I don't think it was a staff. So you're probably wondering, now what is the alternative method for busting an invincible dots pyramid? Well, that method is to set off the chain with just a normal thing, but instead of targeting the null and stuff right away, consider using the uh, uh, relay effect that I explained in my Clone Wars case that I ended up getting, as in, well, like that case where I had, this case where I had a lot of yellow and such, right? The yellow was the furthest I went. Put all the non invincible dots on yellow, okay? Now bust the, now move the, the invincible dots pyramid on the color that is not yellow. Okay. Now, er, let's say the invincible dots pyramid is on green. So bust the green pyramid on the yellow, basically what I'm trying to get at. And put the null on the other one that was not, that's also on yellow. And that's where the null would go. Of course, if you have the pyramids really close to each other, that's a different exception. But I find it much easier to just throw the invincible something or another at, at an enemy and going from there. 
That's the easiest way. Or having an enemy do a favor for you and busting it for you. Yeah, it's kind of strange having an enemy do a favor for you. Since they're not even on your side, they always want to fight you. Get numbers out of you. So you gotta trade the favor and get numbers out of them.